Well, he's taken the cap off. Probably a little, little bit of steam vent out through the roof. This isn't there, and it's not even in the target area. Front toucher here, or the light out on the jack, and Schreiner's in diabolical. Mitch has done it again. All he's got to do is beat Schreiner's closest bowl each time he plays one, and so far, he's had his measure. Now we spoke about before how whether fatigue may be a factor for Lee now. I don't think it is because he, he plays every game as if it's a as if it's a final, so just not getting the weight. It is though an interesting point, as I said, he was playing his, his quarter final right alongside side bottom who's played his semi and I assume his side bottom's gone home. He's had twenty four hours off. And he's fresh. And he's yeah. fresh. Yep. Yeah. In the count. Yep, that's three. Now, this time last year, Guy, we were talking about Planet Flapper. Yes. I think now we're talking about Moo Moo Land. <laughs> <laughs> we are indeed, Absolutely. Daniel. We are. He's, he, he's, he's just playing out of his skin, Mitch side bottom right now. You're right, last year it was Planet Flapper. But Flapper was just in, in a different place to really anyone at the tournament. Lee Schreiner, to be fair, has probably been at the different place in the men's competition to anyone in the tournament right to this point. I think you can say it categorically that Mitch Sidebody bought his A game. And at the moment, Lee is not playing at his ability. He's probably a little bit under the average of his ability at the moment. But he's under pressure, and that's what pressure does. Yeah. You know, and that's what it does in this game of, of, of singles. You've that first bowl is critical, and, and side bottom's been... I don't think he's had a first bowl out much outside mm. a, a foot. He's only put one bowl in, which has been four foot short, and the rest have always been good. Yep. Forehand, backhand, he's doing it on both sides of his body. Got a good strut about him when he's walking up the green. He's, he's exuding confidence at the moment. And he's got the screws turned up tight on his opponent. Oh, this looks good. He wasn't afraid to put a little bit of weight yeah, on it. He's got to get up there. You never know. He's got the best back wood. Well, Lee did have the tee. <laughs> Lee's considering the plant here through his own bowl, through the red bowl of side bottoms, through the jack. Mm -hmm. He may have the tee there for the, the dead end. He hasn't got the... I can't see the jack going straight back. Because side bottom's given it a case of claustrophobia with a, a bowl all over it behind. Well, he's definitely two down. Yep. He's certainly putting himself under the pump here. Just being simply outdrawn. That's uncustomary. It's usually a forehand when he plays it. Doesn't play the backhand drive a lot. Swinging into the bowls, but just a touch wide. Three more. That Three is more big. 14 bottom. to 4. 14 to 4, indeed. Mitch side bottom. The race to 21. 
He's got a big lead, but as Mitch side bottom, the punter will probably tell you, it's a long straight at Flemington. And Lee Schreiner so far, well, he's been the winks of this competition. But he's going to have to do something pretty amazing. He's going to have to be like Kingston Town and 82 Cox Plate to come back from here. I've just noted on the score sheet that <coughs> although Mitch lost the control of the length then, by trying to roll a short end and Lee went ditch to ditch. That's backfired because he's dropped a three. And I think last time he went ditch to ditch, he was holding three. Yep. It's probably Mitch's loosest opening bowl for a while. Needs to get a wriggle on Lee. This ends a must. Responded. Good starter. Yep, handy start. So Mitch needs to take a couple of feet off his last. Oh, don't tell me. Beautiful weight. Yep. Kind to Lee. He's punched him a little closer. He's now got a bowl six inches off the jack. He's probably got two feet to draw another. Doesn't want to leave it out though. Doesn't want to leave it there where Mitch has got something to rest on. Needs to cover that, get on the centre line again with a counter. Good shot here. Just... They're all on the line. Blooming heck. 18 inches then for a great bowl. I think he needs to follow this up so we can see the distance between yeah. the shot bowl and Jack. He's going up. Because from his angle you can't see anything. Now Mitch. Not a you mile get a wriggle on. Oh. Line again. Way in. Made it hard for himself now with his last. I think Lee will switch over. Rub off this, and you're in. That's it. Two shots. Great shot. Great shot. It's made it hard for side bottom, but the way he's been playing, you wouldn't count him out of not being able to draw that shot on that backhand. Mm. It's a counter anyway, that bowl of Schreiner's. I don't think that bowl that's out at about 11 o'clock there on his forehand would be the wiser way to play. Is he going to chop it over onto the backhand? It's going forehand. Oh, he's going to play oh, no, weight. He's playing weight. There is a line up shot there. There is a plant. He, he hits Schreiner's bowl. Okay, so he's opened that up. Lee's holding this could two. Be three. Yeah, I'd say that. I can 90% that this will be three. I'll write it down. <laughs> he's got it. He's got a nearly four feet around the jack there. He's got a four foot circle to draw into there, so player of Lee's talent. Should be thinking about this all the same. He doesn't want to uh, overgrip this choke with the bowl. Just let it come out of your fingers. All right, Graham. Right a three down, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> That's great. That's three shots to Lee Schreiner there, 14 7. You're with Daniel Nichols and Graham Bridge providing expert commentary there. My name's Guy Hand, and this is the 2017 Stella Vic Open. 
live stream coverage on Bowls Victoria. We hope you're enjoying it wherever you're watching, whatever device you are watching it on. Our coverage brought to you by Aussie Gutter Protection. They can help your club, not just help your roof. They can sponsor your club if you're in Victoria. Call 1300 885525 or go to aussiegutterprotection.com.au to find out more. We've got a great men's singles final in prospect here. Mitch Sidebottom, he's up by seven shots, but that three from Schreiner, there's life yet. Well, Schreiner's gone to the well again. He's gone ditch to ditch. I've noticed with your um, with your scorecard there, Graham, that uh, Schreiner's won three ends there and all three have been on the short ends. Mm. He hasn't won a long end yet. I, Mitch has <coughs> comprehensively outdrawn him on the long ends. He hasn't got a first bowl close. This one might be a bit different. Okay, game yes. on now. This is the one game he needed. On. Here we go. I just sense a little bit of a pedal to the metal here. Yep. I think Lee's mum, Sally, who's watching back in Melton, the western suburbs of Melbourne, would have enjoyed that a lot. Well, Mitch has had a bit of a free run on these long ends. Now he's got a bowl close to contend with, but I tell you what, it's not a bad response. Beyond the jack, gives himself a chance. Conversion shot comes into play. Lee's anywhere between that jack and that, that bowl that Mitch Sidebottom just played is going to be a good shot. Oh, I like it. Yep. He's done it. No need for side bottom to change. He's got he doesn't a like it. Yeah. Don't know why he doesn't like it. It's hard to please. <laughs> That's a great shot. He's just standing there itching his elbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's opened up. Strainer will be looking to tuck this jack in behind his own toucher. Bit of uh, blue smoke come out of the back of that bowl. Not quite. Oh, it's run on. Fallen out though. Got a couple of options here, Mick. Mitch, he's got the draw, trail the jack, sit the shot. Oh, it's cutting. He won't do anything with that weight on that line. Okay, now still could be two could down, be two. might maybe one. But Mitch hasn't nailed it on this end yet. No. And once again, though, that's the reversal of the game when the opposition player gets the first ball close to the jack. Schreiner would have to be happy with his first ball there. It's the best one he's played in that direction. He's coming in nice and high. Yep, you sit this red one. Lee's trainer. It's a great shot, Lee. Yep. Oh boy. Great shot. He's got the pressure on Mitch now. I'll tell you what though, there's no gaps there. Lee Lee's left that gettable for big Mitch. Yeah. He's not a million miles away here. Oh, he's gonna get the outside of it. Yeah, just glanced off. Well, probably cut the front one out though. I think he's only got two now, Lee. I think Mitch has got third shot there. Yep, two, two. shots. So there we go. Lee Schreiner cuts the deficit. It's five shots now. Mitch side bottom up 14 9. Was leading 9 2 at one stage. Sensed a, sensed a bit of urgency in Lee's approach to that end because he really concentrated hard on that first bowl, got it close, had Mitch searching a little bit. Well, we go to the Flapper semi-final, which obviously was a game we, we didn't see but were able to glean some information about. He trailed in that match and came back over the top in the semi-final. 
So he's done that before. A little bit of tension's gone off Lee now. I think he knows that he's he's in a game, <coughs> playing against a, against a very capable opponent. And now we see him back yep. right on the money with his first bowl. Yeah. We've got a good game Boy. going on here. He knows the importance of a, of a, a good close first bowl. That arrow there right on the front of the jack. Mitch side bottom with four inches to draw the shot. 100 mil. Oh, dropping short. Yeah, so... I've noticed Lee's got the the upper on him over this last end or two. You can say it all you like, but the most important bowl in singles, like in any game, is that first one. Applying the pressure from the go really puts your opponent under the hammer. He's forced Mitch onto his backhand. He's getting good turn on both sides of the green too, Mitch. I'll tell you what, a little bit over the draw here, but it's a good bowl where he's finishing. Mm -hmm. Touch that shot bowl. A couple of feet of weight, that's where the jack will go. Straight to that red bowl. Schreiner will go out there too. Get in first. Put some more pressure on Mitch. See if he can narrow that gap. Trailing by five. Very nearly another counter there from Schreiner. Could be holding three, Daniel. Yeah, he could be. And Mitch has just been off his game these last few ends. So, big bowl here is third and fourth. Yeah, I think he's dropped That's a little bit there. short again. That's not there. That's a nervous bowl. Holding onto it. So, in Lee's head, he knows that once he dobs the first one on... Mitch is under pressure and he hasn't yep. been performing as well. That's exactly right. It was all side bottom early. Short ends, long ends. His first bowl was really applying the pressure to Schreiner. Now he's turned it over. He's applying some of his own. These last couple of ends have really drawn Lee back in. He's got five shots on the last two ends. To take that ten shot lead that side bottom had down to five. And he's holding a couple here on the head. We think. I reckon this is another. Yep. Don't. Good bowling. Doesn't want to open it. Yeah, very good. Great shot. It's made it hard. I reckon he'll play weight here. He's saying to Mitch, now I'm the man. If you want to win this, you've got to outdraw that. Yep. You've got to outplay that. You've given me the biggest fright I've had in the tournament so far in the early stages of this match I am here to play if you want it you got to earn it I don't like the lie for side bottom really the, no. only, the only shot he's got here is to get as much of that bur that front bowl that he can to try and push that onto the jack back to his own red bowl you just don't know if the angles are correct whether or not the jack's going to go back. When there's that little gap... Might just pop one out. Exactly. When that little gap exists between the jack and the bowl. He hasn't played hard enough weight to do that. Mm, he's come up off his delivery as well. But... Uh, he's cut it down to definitely two now. Yep. He halved what could have been a Two's maximum. Two's alright, yeah. And I think if Strana got three or four, he would have excelled from that and just shot his way to the finish line. Well, if Lee had gotten the maximum count there, we would only have put him one shot behind. And then he's only looking to score eight. Mitch is looking to score seven. 
I think Lee had um, trade those last couple of ends with his first bowl for a lot of the earlier ones when he wasn't getting his first bowl close. Seven shots on the last three ends for Schroener. He's looking ominous. What's the chances this one's close, Daniel? Well, he's dobbed the last two ends. He's dobbed his first one right on it. He's picked his game up going in this direction back towards the car park. He was a bit all at sea there for a while. He's giving Mitch a little bit of a look at it this time, so let's see what he can do. If he can respond, answer the call. Put a few wayward ends together here, so he's looking to fight his way back in. If he can he find that weight, running, yeah. if he can find that weight control he had on those on those early ends, it's it's back on as a game, but just losing the the touch here slightly. Lee's got good weight. Good turnout of crowd here, Guy. It's a terrific crowd, isn't it? It's fantastic. There's a lot of people turned out here at Shepparton Park Bowls Club. Here's the bingo shot. Yep. That's the one he wanted. It's a great one. Yeah. It wasn't his first, but it was definitely his second. And the good crowd that's in here tonight really appreciate it too. And uh, plenty of people in. Ooh. It's Friday evening here. Looks very narrow. That's right across the face here, and it's not up either. See him come up very quickly then. Didn't get that full extension of his delivery. He's got two short bowls. Yep. I sense him tightening a little bit. Mm. I think he's got that fear of I was up so much, I don't yeah. want to choke now. Yeah. Just keep on doing what you were doing early. Play your natural game. You can't give this bloke a chance. He will, he will jump on it. He'll seize it straight away. And you can see three shots now. Well, I can see another toucher here, maybe. And he's jumped on it. Now he's holding three. Wow. There could be a big change over this game very, very shortly. <coughs> if Mitch Sidebottom doesn't convert this head. Okay. He's corrected on his grass. His weight's no. not bad. He's looked better. Ooh, outside. Mm -hmm. Second shot. He's got one in the head. Takes a little bit of pressure off him. Probably a little bit of a sigh of relief there to get that sit on that bowl. Probably a little bit unlucky he didn't get the inside of mm -hmm. it and come in for shot, but he was pacing a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I think Lee's gonna you can see that red bowl and push him out a little bit maybe. I think Lee will try and dead draw to the jack here and uh, touch the jack for three. He's high on it. He could tip it over for shot. I just think he'll try and draw a toucher. Make three. Make two for sure. Lonely out there on your own as a singles player. Got your opponent to beat. Got yourself to beat sometimes too when you're struggling. We saw Schreiner fight through that. He's gotten through those early ends where he's in a fair bit of strife. He's definitely settled down now. Right. Yeah, he bumped that into the green, that one. Ooh. Nervous bowl. Yeah. He hasn't got much on other than a draw, no, really. That's got all you got. Yeah, exactly. He's got nothing nothing past the jack, so he can't afford to really be aggressive. He's just got to draw to his own bowl and flop in for shot. He was doing it early. Yeah. So it's, it's in him. He's got it. But the game has changed over the course of the last three or four ends. 
When he got out to 14-4, it looked like how far Mitch side bottom, but never underestimate the bloke he's playing. First part's right. Got it on a good line. Okay, he's stalking the ball. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, he needs the inside of it to roll over. Oh, had to measure. He is closer than his other. I reckon it's Wanda Schroner. Michael Andersh, the marker, is holding that blue paddle. On top of the red, isn't he? Which is the Lee Schroner colour. Yep. Yes, and Lee's got one. He was in the area. Yep. He was good. So Mitch Sidebottom leading 14 to 12 over Lee Schroner. And the marathon man is running him down. He's on an 8-0 run. We've got a game here. Yes, if uh, if Schroner can pull a brace here, get a couple and even it up, it's going to be a sudden death seven-shot shootout, like a <laughs> sets play game. Um, I'd favour Schroner in that position because he's no uh, he's no stranger to those tight tight games. We certainly hope you are enjoying Bowls Victoria's live stream coverage of the 2017 Stella Vic Open. Stella, our premier partner of Bowls in Victoria. They're a medium density property developer. Stella, S T E L L E R dot com dot au. I reckon there'll be a few on the edge of their seats down at Rosney Park, boys. Tuning, tuning in on, uh, on Lee. I'm tipping they've got the big screen on at Rosney Park like they did last year to watch this. Perfect weight. And hello to all our friends in Tasmania watching this. We, we've got a corker on our hands here. Your man Schroener down by two, but he's coming. And he's coming quickly. Oh, yeah, he's dropped short again. Big momentum swing in this game now. Mitch side bottom had total control on the long ends. All of a sudden, he's lost that little bit of touch. Just hope he's not tightening up. Speculating a little bit there, Lee. A little bit underneath with his first and a little overcorrection with his line, but his weight's good again. It's a good shelf for Mitch to consider being inside that last bowl. Yeah, this is better. Very close. Oh, needed a little inside rub. Okay, now that's got to put some doubt in his mind because I, I believe that was on a very good line, that bowl. Just hang, got a little bit of a hang there. It's been a very emotional ride for both of these players and we're only on N14. Yeah, very true, Daniel. Well, I reckon after nine ends, Mitch Sidebottom was, would have been walking on a cushion of air. He yeah. Had it, he had it on a string. Had his opponent, a very capable leash reiner, under a lot of pressure. Oh, this is good. He's got three. Schreiner's responded. And Mitch has got to find something because at the moment... He hasn't got many answers to the precision touch of Lee Schroener. Let's put this out on a big line. Now, is it going to do the same as his last? Oh, the other side of it. Oh, it needs to roll over to, to get second shot. You've got a feel for side bottom there. He's played two what I'd class as excellent bowls on that forehand, and he just hasn't got the finish on him. Well, he's got one more, but... I wonder if Schreiner can turn the light out here and trail that jack of foot. If he trails that jack of foot on the backhand, he could potentially be holding four shots. He'll be trying to tighten these screws even further now, so don't be surprised if you see a really big shot here from Lee. And I 
reckon that's his line. Touch the outside bowl here, and it's going to pump it closer. Ooh, just didn't turn for him, did it? Wow. Both players experiencing a bit of frustration mm. there with no turn at right the end. Right towards the end. Yeah, two perfectly weighted, three perfectly weighted bowls. Mitch's last two shots there that are high of the, sh the jack high bowl of Schreiner, and then Schreiner's own last bowl. Perfect weight for that mm. shot to trail the jack for four, but not just bending at the end. He's got to play the same as his last two bowls. Oh, he's definitely. He can't play three like that, surely. And not get something. Okay, he's out there again. I know, Mitch. This is a better line. This is it needs a better to turn. line. It needs to turn. Yes. Oh. And it's not even in the count. It's just gone out. That'll play on his mind it's a little still, bit. It looks like three from this camera angle. Yeah, it could be. It's definitely two, I reckon. If Lee gets three, he's taken the lead. Side bottom only had to touch that bowler. He's then for shot, and it's... He's had three great bowls, side bottom there, and yeah, he, was stiff. he could still be three down. They've taken one out. Got to be thinking to himself now, what have I got to do? Well, it's simple. <laughs> You've got to get the shot. All right, that one's... It's two. So it's two. It's all Lee's, square. It is all square. Lee Schreiner and Mitch Sidebottom. He was down 14-4, Lee Schreiner. He's chased him back. And it is a seven-shot shootout. In the race to 21. All the momentum's leading towards Schreiner. Five of the last six ends. Long. Side bottom won that first long end with a three to go out to 14-4, but it's been all Schreiner since. He's put together ten shots in five ends. It's all square. I think I said it just before. It's now to it's a game of seven now. It is exactly yeah. that. Mitch needs to start again from scratch. Zero zero. There's every possibility that if Schreiner really turns it on here and gets a lot of close bowls in these next few ends. could be closer to be getting that three Pete getting those three titles in this event all in the one year what a remarkable effort all right he's let him in now early doors you would have backed Mitch in to draw a bowl with inside a foot 10 inches even was a long way away Yeah, he's zooming a bit too. He's lost his weight. Mm -hmm. Both players mm -hmm. are probably tightening just a fraction now that they know that that's back to level pegging. Seven singles, seven front touches could win this. But I know Lee... He'd be determined now not to let Mitch score again. He hasn't learnt anything from his first. He's played the same mm -hmm. bowl virtually. That's better. He didn't come up as fast. Fall away off the mat. Time for Mitch to adjust. Just overcorrected, I think. Yep. It's the shot bowler. That's good. That's the best. Good area for Schreiner. Doesn't look like it's there. Yeah, it's blowing a bit of smoke. He's got overs and unders. It's time for Mitch to double up here and put the pressure on. He's got to be breathing a sigh of relief that 
Schreiner hasn't counted there. He's got a free shot virtually here for a second. But I don't think he's there. He's way off. That's in excess of two metres. Schreiner now with it all to do. He'd, he'd settle for a one here. One cold draw. Good patch. No, he's still blowing smoke as well. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Hasn't got that momentum up. It's Mitch's chance to get two. And then pro possibly go short again. He's out in the good area. He's not going to hurt the uh, the head by. Now his weight's better. Getting into those short Schreiner bowls. Gets around and he's got two. He has. Great shot. The crowd loves it. Two shots, Mitch side bottom. To start our seven shot shootout, Mitch side bottom. Elite 16 14 in the race to 21 for the Stella Vic Open men's singles title. Schreiner wouldn't be happy with that last end. It wasn't the best head. And he failed to draw a ball within inside three feet, so. He's got to reevaluate now because there's another length change. Side bottom back to his short end. The run of 10 shots that Lee Schreiner scored to go from 4-14 behind to level at 14 all was the result of Mitch throwing a short end, Lee winning it, and then he hopped onto the ditch to ditch again, so he left the door slightly open for him here. I'm surprised he didn't get over onto the backhand there. That one looks to me to be forcing him to try and get into the jack rather than come around it. Open draw probably would have been the better alternative there. Yep, Side this is bottom. a better bowl. Yep, uh, he's got a bowl to draw to now underneath that red bowl. Two chances here. A little piece of the bowl to sit it out and stay or a little bit of a trickle on the jack. He may be into that front yeah. line here. No, no. Trying to mind up the jack here. He wants to be careful. Side bottoms. Jumped over onto his backhand. Got to be pairing those last two Needs to get past the head. Needs to get past that jack. Not a bad spot there. Can't see the jack going back to Lee's bowls now. This bloke, up. this bloke just loves pressure. Just not turning for him. He didn't have the weight, actually, no, did he? he? didn't have the weight. Made it difficult oh. now. That's probably firmed the weight if he plays the forehand again. Not a bad guy. There's a bit of a funnel there inside his own to the jack. Oh, gee, Mitch side bottom. He could really put some pressure on here. He could... If, if Mitch just taps his front bowl, one, one roll, and, and covers the jack up completely, holds three... Yep. Is it a measure for the fourth at the moment? If he does that with his fourth bowl? Is that red one out on the side there closer than Lee's? Uh, I don't back think bowl? so. Yeah, 
Yeah, the big man's focused. He's all over this one. You can tell, you can sense oh, it. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. wow. Moo Moo Land. <laughs> Mitch side bottom. He's grown another leg here. Wow. He's really come on heavy here. I think Lee will drive. I think he'll, he'll drive to try and get that front bowl either through the jack or take at least two of them out. He's not going to get anything by playing weight similar to his last because he didn't reach. I think you'll get on his favourite forehand swinging or forehand full-blooded drive well, Last here. time he stood back a couple of metres, Brad Marin said he's going full power. Yeah. He's visualising what he wants to do here. He wants to make full-blooded contact on that front bowl. Oh, he's going way wide. That could be... Well, it's oh. definitely three. It's definitely three. I'll bring him to four. 19. I'll tell you what, it'll be interesting for that fourth one. This might put him on the, uh, the oh. all but. It, it, it's hard to tell from that angle. But I'm going to tell only three. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's definitely definitely a measure. He's, he's a flatty. Crack here. He's a flatty. He's got to go for it. That, that is a, that is closer than you think, boys. Never die wondering. That's closer than you think. Mitch Sivertum could have Lee Strain at twenty to fourteen. Yeah, so he's the definitely men's singles three. final that's of the big open. That's closer than you think, he. This measure will tell. No, three. So Mitch side bottom is two shots away from the Vic Open men's singles title. Mitch side bottom from Shepparton playing for South Bendigo, taking on the Australian champion of champions, Lee Schreiner, the man who's conquered pretty much everything in this tournament to date. He's five shots clear. Don't be surprised to see Schreiner go all out here. In particular, if side bottom gets one close. Not quite. Left a little bit of room there for Lee. He's going to bump him up here. And his weight was really good. It's a horrible result for him. Just undergrassed it. Side bottom's got to jump on. Well, he's got better weight this time. I reckon he's all just about all over oh. it. Yep. Same weight as your last Lee with a, a bowl's width. And you're on the jack. He's drawn the shot just past Jack. That's good. Good ball. Good ball. No Jack high sits. The big move's got a chance here. Just needs two foot on his last. Yep. Lee's, in effect, giving him a couple of feet to draw the shot. But Gone he's a bit pacey, rush of blood. Yep. Okay. He's halted the charge here, Schreiner. He's got the shot. Room to draw another. Down over the bowl. Nearly got two shots there. Very close. 
I like Lee's more than the front two readies. So does An Michael Andersh, the marker. All right, Mitch Sybottom, this is a big bowl. This he looks needs. like a screamer coming in here. Mitch Sybottom from South Bendigo. Oh. Right in front as well. Time for Lee to pick up two shots here if he plays the right shot. Is that bowl on the outside just, it is just far enough in front of that other bowl, the two touching. If he comes down and touches through that bowl, I think it'll kiss off and go away. I don't think it'll come up through the jack. Got to be careful, Lee, because he hasn't got game against him. He's only one down. And he's looking to try and convert. This is where we need Brad Maron's uh, expertise advice on Lee's thinking. Well, Brad I don't is know what he's going to do. It's, it's hard to know. I can see Brad there hanging over the, the fence at the back, just near the... Uh, just where this end is being played. Brad Maron is going to go forehand with a Lee's. swinger, I think. Yep. Oh. Well, he's only going down one. Yep. yep. The game is still on. That weight there, I think he was looking for the inside of those two bowls together to play it up through the other bowl. Mm -hmm. But I think if he played with that weight, the other one, if it hit it flush, it would have stayed for shot anyway. Well, in the uh, seven-shot shootout that we had, we were 14 apiece. Mitch Sidebottom has got the first six. It's only a six-nil run, and he's only one shot away from victory. He's leading 20 to 14. We play 21 up. He needs one shot, and he is the Stella Vic Open men's singles champion. Sometime the hardest one to get. That yep. one that you're looking for. I can tell you now there won't be any dry powder now. If he gets one close, Lee will fire. Oh, this is a great start. Just a little bit behind. Schrainer with all to do. And only 12 or so inches to get the shot. It's tight. It's tight, yeah. Don't it has held up a lot, but... Yeah, but I don't think his weight's good. He won't be happy with that. I'll guarantee you now that Mitch Sidebottom will get over on the backhand. He won't give Lee a chance touching him in on the forehand. He's got a beautiful bowl there, just a few inches behind the jack. Mitch has gone narrow as well. Yeah. Oh, a little similar still, line to. There'll be a little bit of tightening here because this could be the last end. Schroeder's going to jump over. I'll back him to draw this. Hmm? Keep himself in the match. Not going to do it. Narrow line it's again. Tight again. But he could get a little, uh, not enough weight. Pressure. Pressure balls. Mitch has got the closest bowl to the tee. Good bowl here. If he nails this, Good bowl here. he needs to keep on running. It's not going to run. No, it isn't. Just Good pulling line. up. Wow. What's going on? You know, it should not be on trainer here to sit this bowl. It's a measure Tra for shot. Trainer sits this bowl and rolls it over twice. He's three shots. He's tight with his last two. He's tight again. 
has held out a lot. Needs a slider. Too thick. Good, good enough weight to draw the shot then, but if you've watched his last couple of bowls, they've actually been, the running surface of the bowls have nearly been directed down mm. the green, not out to the aiming line. So he strangled those last couple with a tight line. Important bowl here. Side bottom needs a bowl closer than that, I feel. Mm -hmm. And he needs a partner, needs a mate there. He's got shot behind, measure for shot behind and two short ones. This one has to be in the area. Better paddock. Yep, he's got better grass. Better weight. Better bowl. Mitch side bottom. That's game right there. That's game and title. He's needs a foot. Two feet around the jack to draw the shot. Well, Shepard and zone Mitch side bottom. He's holding championship. Hoarding behind says Shepparton many great things. Is Mitch Sidebottom the next great thing in Shepparton? At the moment he's holding the title. He's got the medal half around his neck. This man has to do not the impossible for him. But his dreams lie with this bowl. Is he good? Oh, he needs to stop. Is he, he needs good? To stop. Is Lee he Schreiner, good? What, what a, a ball. Oh. That is great <laughs> to see. <laughs> well, we go on. We had the medal around the man's <coughs> neck, but it's just been raised up an inch or two. Holding championship. Lee Schreiner pulls back. What a, a clutch shot. shot. Mitch side bottom in the race to 21. 2015, he leads Lee Schreiner. The marathon man lives again. Oh, strap yourselves. We hope you are enjoying this wherever you are watching from. And if you're watching this and your friends aren't, tell your friends. Get them to watch this. Go to www.bowlsvic.org.au or on Facebook Live on the Bowls Victoria page. Just get the last end or two of this into you. Not far off a thousand people watching this. Is that through Facebook? A thousand people through Facebook watching this game, and there's probably countless others that are streaming this off the Bowls Victoria website. And they're being treated to a real street fight here. Lee Schreiner has got to come back now after surrendering six shots over three ends and having match against him and title against him. He hasn't jumped on. If Mitch nails one here, it could be all over. Lee wouldn't like covering the centre line. Oh, side bottom looks good here. Just a little bit through. He's looking for a better part of a metre there. He's got the weight, but he hasn't got the line. I still think he's a little bit short. Yeah, he is. Probably another metre, another two feet on that. He's used the get out of jail free card once, Lee Schreiner. Can he use it again? This is good from Mitch. He needs a good one here because this, this is where is they come from. Oh. oh, listen to the crowd. And we've got a big crowd in tonight, and they're loving that from the local boy. That's a whopper. Mitch side bottom. Career shot that one. Holding title again. How many times can this man get out of trouble? Right. 
He's stalking his bowl. Down he comes. He's tight. Lee Schroener. I reckon he's got the bowl and Jack here. Yes. Oh. What a bowl. Ooh. Ooh, now let's roll back a bit. Yeah. What a good bowl. Not happy with that. Thought he had enough to hold on to the Jack. As the weight came off, he turned in. Tried to sit the shot bowl off. Just another half a roll over, and that was shot for Lee. I don't think Mitch has got to go anywhere near this. He's got a good one there. The pressure's all on Lee. Well, he's only got one bowl. Do something. Exactly right. Probably a blocker and the forehand on the way in might have helped him. So Mitch um, Sybottom's holding game right now. Yep. Yep, that's how we're seeing it, Daniel. He's got to be careful, Schreiner. He hasn't got anything past the jack. If he was to play up there with a few feet over the head and touch the jack, I just don't think it'll, it'll run for him. Side bottom has a bowl up the back. And side bottom also has the last bowl. Mm. Probably might go in the pocket, you reckon? Yeah. Nothing happens might not here. Need to play it. Won't need to play it. it. Schreiner's last bowl in the last then was magnificent. Can he do it again? Well, the marathon man, he's won two titles here and the hopes of a third and a historic third resting on this. All hinges on this last ball. Can he do it? You could hear a pin drop here inside the Shep Park Bowls Club. This man looking to play. He's in the area, let me tell he you. He is definitely in the area. He's in the area. Lee Schreiner. Oh. Great ball. Oh, is it going to... I think side bottom is holding here. That's not going to tip. Yes. It he's is. Got it. it is. And we're done. And Mitch side bottom is the 2017 Stella Vic Open Men's Singles Championship champion in an extraordinary match of runs, of fast breaks, of great comebacks, and of a fantastic last few ends where he got his mojo back and took down the marathon man. Mitch side bottom, Shepherd and local, playing for South Bendigo. He wins 21-15. Daniel Nichols and Graham Bridge that was some match. That was a stellar performance by both players. Mitch had the edge on him at the start, but then all of a sudden those in the middle of the game with Lee's five run streak. 14-4 down, brought it back to 14-14. There's Lee Schreiner. Man, he's given us so much pleasure in this tournament. He's played 31 games here. He's won two titles. He's made a semi-final, and he's made a final. Look at that. There's the local man, Mitch Moo, side bottom. Going over to see his mates. What oh, look at this. Hey. I really think there that... <laughs> Bit of love from the crowd there. Why wouldn't you? Side bottom won that because he dug deep when he needed to. Um, he was really up against it there when Schreiner got back to 14 all. Schreiner favouring his customary long I was, in. I was favouring Schreiner as soon yeah. as he got to 14-14. It was... All the momentum was going towards Schreiner. Yeah, you'd have to look at the experience of Schreiner, having been in that position of winning many titles. Just some wonderful scenes there. It was a great effort. I see, I see Matthew Robertson over the fence there. Probably got to go to back to Bendigo tomorrow and play Pennant. <laughs> <laughs> what fantastic scenes. A local win. Here in Shepparton, the local boy, playing for South Bendigo. He played, played local pennant here for many, many years. And a popular win indeed. Mitch Sidebottom, the 2017 Stella Vic Open men's singles champion. Pretty pleased with himself there because he's beaten a great. And I think that's no disrespect to, um, to Mitch. Lee is a, a champion player.
This bloke, though, has got it. He had he showed everything there in that game. He, he played great weight control over the first seven or eight ends, established himself a nice little lead. Lee clawed his way back into the game. He, he, took, he played some magnificent bowls to get back to 14 all. And you thought, well, this is going to go shot for shot till the end, but Mitch just put his foot down and went bang, bang, bang. Six shots in three ends, and he needed one after Lee saved match and title. And side bottoms, he's got the girl. <laughs> he's got the goal. He's got the medal as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, he, he, he brought game early, and he brought fight late. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah, you're not wrong there, Guy. Tremendous scenes. And a really popular victory. And a big smile now. What a big smile. Be? Okay. Oh, gents, what a fantastic match to bring down the curtain on the 2017 Stella Vic Open. Our live stream coverage brought to you by Aussie Gutter Protection. Daniel Nichols and Graham Bridge, thank you so much for your commentary throughout this. What a great tournament we've had. To Daniel, thank you. To Graham, our thanks. Stay with us. We'll have the presentation very soon. You're with Bowls Victoria's live stream of the 2017 Stella Vic Open. Aussie, Aussie Gutter Protection. Gutter Protection.